What's up? I'm Tyler Gilbert. I'm number 43 for the Tulane Green Wave football team. I sat down with some of my fellow student athletes, and here's what they said. Uh, to me, it, feel, it feels great to be a student athlete. I mean, I, take, I don't take any moment for granted. I do my work, do my job on, on the field, off the field, and handle business. Well, my definition of student athlete is someone that can be engaged in both school and academics and give them the same amount of time to be successful in both. What a student athlete means to me is, uh, you know, being a leader in a classroom and uh, being a leader on the field, you know, taking care of, uh, you know, your classwork, staying on top of your grades, um, staying on top of assignments, uh, asking questions, you know, just, just being the best as you can as a student and as, you know, an athlete in the sport that you participate in. What it does it mean? It means to be, first of all, it means academics first because that's why we're here, to get our education and get our degree. And then athlete, do the best you can in the, uh, in the weight room and on the field to make it, let your team win. For me, being a student athlete means you have to prepare yourself day in and day out to go to class as well as practice, working hard on the field and as in the classroom. I mean, like you said, student athlete, student comes first. So you have to strive to be the best in both aspects. Being a student athlete, it, it means a lot. Um, just a student, the student portion of it comes first. Um, I have to excel in the classroom, have to make the grades uh, each day, uh, Monday through Friday. Maybe two is too long. I know I had an opportunity to play, and uh, I had an uh, opportunity to compete on the field for a job. Then. I mean, I like the coaches and I like the academic system that they have out here and everything. Um, actually, I ended up transferring to Tulane because I had some uh, family problems going on. My dad actually suffered from PTSD and uh, he did a lot of work. He has to do a lot of um, visits at the New Orleans VA hospital. And um, I knew Coach CJ and Trey from uh, Memphis, so I decided to get him a call and see, you know, what it'd be like if I came to Tulane and would I have an opportunity to um, get on the field and, and show what I can do. Because it's a great academic school, um, even though I would like to uh, be a professional athlete, Tulane degree can get you a long way in the business and the corporate world. And it's, a, and it's great people. It's not too big, but it's not too small at the same time. And it's a great atmosphere. And what made me choose Tulane was um I'm from Louisiana, so uh, being close to home, uh, I was able to, you know, stay close to my little brother and my grandma and stuff like that. And then the, um, at the end of the four years, I get to graduate with a two-lane degree. So, you know, I, I get to, you know, get something at the end of the day for, for playing football, and I also get a great education. The education, um, they one of the, the best colleges in the United States. Um, and then the location of it. And New, being, being from New Orleans, um, ain't nothing like just just living in New Orleans and, and knowing like everything that, that goes on within the city. Um, this past week they just had a uh, um, Beyonce concert in, in Hove. I mean like th that happens. They have something almost every week in New Orleans. And, and just the, the campus, the campus is beautiful. Uh, Yulman Stadium is, is so, so nice. And, and you, can't, you can't pass up on Tulane. The number one game. I mean, I always look forward for, to the first game because that's the start. And then I take every game one, one at a time and I just finish through. Uh, number one game I'm looking forward to is um, Memphis. Um, I'm actually a transfer from Memphis, so I kind of like know their scheme. I've been there, you know, for a minute. I went, I went actually at Memphis for two years and now I'm here. So to play against a school that I come from, against guys that I know would be great. All of them. <laughs> Uh, I just take it one, one at a time and cherish every moment because I'm a senior. These are my last 12, 13 games, so I got to cherish them all. Most of this way, the game is probably going to be Tulsa. Um, just a, just the, the first game to be able to run out there and, you know, see the crowd, see the, the atmosphere of, a, you know, a college game, um, you know, be able to compete with, with guys that, you know, had the opportunity to make it to the next, ne next level. You know, it's going to be a, a, a great thing. My most anticipated game is the game against Georgia Tech. Because it'll be a home game, we have the new stadium, the crowd will be crazy. I mean, everything is going towards that game. I know you can't overlook Tulsa, but you got to expect to, everybody to be focused on Georgia Tech. So. Nothing really, I just go out there, 
with it on my mind, just listen to music and just go play, play hard, man. Uh, pretty much, pretty much listening to music like like everyone. Um, I talk to my dad for every game. Um, that's that's a big thing that I always do. You know, me and him discuss stats and you know what he think I should do and what I what he feels that's going to be key to that week of me having a successful game. So I usually try to talk to my dad for every game. Unlike other people, I'm very like loose and outgoing before the game. A lot of people just like sit in their lockers and stare. And with mean faces, I like to listen to like R and B music. I like to joke around. I like to listen to comedy because I feel like. You play better when you're loose and not tense, and you just go out there and have fun. So why be tense before the game? My pregame ritual is basically to just, you know, do the stretches, do everything with the team, and then not really a vocal person as far as, you know, making a lot of noise. Just standing on myself, preparing myself mentally and physically. So not big, not that big of a talker. So Actually, my pregame ritual is kind of funny. Um, my little brother has a teddy bear named Mr. Brownie, so uh, you know I kind of walk around with the locker room. Uh, you know I kind of hold it, and, you know, listen to my headphones and stuff. Kind of just relax, chill, um, get in the zone. You know, mentally prepare myself for things that are gonna happen on the field. You know, uh, make sure that my all my teammates are, are ready and focused. And, you know, that everybody has the same mindset that we're going down and dominate. I, I usually I wake up in the morning. I, um, as I said, when I wake up, I shower. Just get get a uh, little warm, just warm water. Um, I, I listen to I listen to a variety of people, a variety of people. Maybe some Lil Wayne. Uh, uh, I usually listen to a little Chief Keef, a couple songs of his. Um, then I, I I talk to my my uh, my parents. Man, I don't know. So cool with everybody. Everybody know everything. <laughs> we don't have no secrets. <laughs> That uh, like I, I want to be a music producer. If um, if football don't work out, I want to produce music. Um, it's been a love I've had since I was like 11 years old, and um, I always play in the locker room about being a hype man and stuff like that. So I always I always had a dream of like rocking shows and um, and like rapping in front of people, and, like and, like just playing around on stage and just having fun. Uh, I used to play in the band in high school. I used to play trombone. You know, I'm a multi-talented guy. You know, I, I did it all. <laughs> One thing most people don't know about me is uh, even though I'm an athlete, I'm kind of clumsy. So, um, you know, a lot of times I'd be walking down the street and trip over random stuff or trip over air. Um, so, you know, I get kind of clumsy even though, you know, I, I'm seen as, you know, a football player since I'm kind of athletic, you know, I'm still goofy. The thing most people don't know about me is that I really am a competitive person. Like, regardless of what we're doing, I always try to beat somebody else, like I want to win, so I won't compete with you regardless, I don't care if you're 100 and 400 pounds lighter than, heavier than me, I'm sorry, we're going to compete with each other every snap. I go to my grandmother a lot, um, my grandmother pretty much raised me, she, uh, she's been there for through thick and thin, I know anything I need, I, I can call her. Um, you know, that's that's one of the person, you know, I, I feel like I have the one of the closest connections to besides my, my mother. So, you know, she kind of... I look most up to my mother and father because they instill a sense of urgency in me to be great in life and successful. I probably, I probably look up to my brother, uh, Lee. Uh, just just his, his, everything he taught me so far, like just in life. Um, off the field, on the field, um, he just—he—he, I, he, I think he's someone to look up to. I mean, he's right now he's with the um, Washington Redskins. He where I, I'm trying to be at. So I, that's someone, someone I just look up to. It's great, um, just the honor of it. Um, you have have this. I've just been on the list with like other great players from Tulane and other great players like just around the nation. Uh, that's a huge, that's a huge step. Um, and and for the for the program, not not only for me, just getting getting the recognition for the, my program, like you guys, just from from they say they see a, a, you could be an All American from Tulane. It's, I ain't an All American just from my. Just for my abilities, I'm all American for my teammates. Y'all, y'all help me get to where I'm at. 